Hello guys, Weather Tech here. So, I um, made a video about um, Pet Cat, and I think that's uh, a good, uh, a good um, complement to that video would be how do I buy my gear, uh, what do I do, what I look for, and uh, how I go about it. So. Um, most of my gear, of my gear, was bought off season, and that's the first tip that I give you. If you need gear, buy it for the next season. So this is this is the main uh, the main tip I can give you. If you take nothing else from this video, take this. If you want to buy uh, spring or summer, buy it when it's winter. If you want to buy winter gear, buy it in spring. Why do I say this? Uh, brands try to uh, renovate stock for the next season. So uh, basically in spring you will have coming out the, the summer stuff. Uh, and in winter you will have coming out the winter and autumn stuff. And because of that, the previous season will be discounted. Because in the next season, some some material can be review uh, can be revised, and a new one will be shipped. So there's heavy discounts uh, whenever uh, you you buy off season. Uh, you are limited in sizes, so watch out. Be 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 very careful. This tip is something that a lot of people know. So be careful with uh, when you will pull the trigger. Uh, way too long and you have no sizes way too soon and the, the discount is not not really favorable uh, for example my jacket it's uh, this one expe uh, specifically is a t-missile textile um, it's the air tech one and basically i bought this after the tech air 5 was launched and basically alpine stash discontinued discontinued this jacket um, this jacket uh, new uh, was a hundred, 400, sorry, 400 euros when it was launched. But when I bought it, it was like 220, something like that. Um, and I bought it in winter. So I basically bought a jacket for the next year. And because of that, I saved 50% on the jacket. Now, the next tip, how do I figure out sizing? Um, basically, my tip for this is this. If you have a local store, uh, a store that you buy stuff normally, like uh, chain cleaner, stuff that you, you buy, um, or even the, the store where you bought your motorcycle, where you take it to the revision. Whenever you are there for something like uh, chain tensioning, uh, a revision, something like that, do a shop around uh, on the store and try try a new jacket, try try something. But the main key is this: figure out your sizing. Uh, it will it will change. Nice Ferrari. It will change um, with um, with the the the, 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 uh, the brand, um, and the brand will te will tell you. Uh, the sizing for this or for that uh, leather has has different sizes the west has different sizes europe has different sizes so figure out locally for the brand you want the the, the size and then uh, if you if you if you have a good relation with a store you can basically go online shop around figure out pricing and then you can basically go to the store and say hey I really like you guys, but I can get this jacket for this price. And ask them if they they they, they made if they 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 go uh, to the same price. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Maybe they 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 make you a bundle and and give you something else with the jacket. Figure basically. You, um, you you negotiate with them 
Um, if not, if they say it's this, this is the price, you say thank you very much, and then you order it online. Um, in Europe, I use Motocard and FCD, I think. Uh, I will put it uh, uh, on the on the screen. Um, one is German, the the other store is um, uh, Spanish. Motocard is Spanish. Uh, and basically, um, I, I I bought most of my gear from them, uh, and I use this this um, this uh, kind of, of stuff. Uh, both have actually price matching, so you can shop around on more stores, and um, and basically um, ask them if they match the price, and if they do, um, you, you just buy it with them. Uh, I have returned stuff to them due to sizing, uh, no, no problems, um, even with COVID problems on logistics. Uh, so they, they credit stuff to me, they changed the sizing, these trousers specifically. I, vi I did not to, I did not go with the sizing on the, on the, on the, um, on the manufacturer and the size I ordered was uh, one size too big so the manufacturer was exactly right for me and uh, I talked with um, with FC and they changed the, the trousers no problem I just pay, paid for the, the shipping uh, for the, the new ones um, so if you guys uh, want to, to do stuff like that I recommend you do it like this so shop off season try to find the the sizes and keep the the sizes that you wear for the brands that you wear um, present and every time you, you go buy stuff shop around shop around online and if you have a, a, a favorite store go there try to to ask them if they make the price it's always nice to support local stores but if they don't, uh, don't, don't be, um, don't, don't, uh, don't uh, pay more, just because uh, you like the store. Uh, save money, uh, buy better gear, basically. Um, I, I think every everything that I bought, I bought at discount. I I don't think I have paid full price for anything, except my first pair of gloves that I bought on a local store. Uh, I have uh, an SMX V2, something like that, from Alpine Stars, uh, some textile gloves uh, that um, that I use uh, used the first time that I, when I started taking my A license. Um, another tip: don't buy all, all your gear at once. Uh, space it out. Um, if you if you plan to start riding, uh, start buying stuff uh, before you you start the the start uh, riding uh, try to get something cheap but uh, with with good uh, good specs uh, because if um, if you find uh, um, a bargain you can probably for example if you start if you if you plan to next year start riding and it's winter okay nice it's a great opportunity for you, for you to start looking for um, for gear for summer uh, because you probably will not start riding in the winter. Um, the wet is is not a great place to start learning. Um, so you basically just um, start buying stuff, um, try to look for deals, and just keep it up. And when you have all your gear. You basically make a plan. Uh, for example, you should trade your helmet. For example, you should trade your helmet every five years or so. Why is that? Because the APS foam will be great, and because of that, you should uh, should keep in mind that you should uh, uh, change your helmet. So make a plan, set aside the money, and shop around. Make. By the way, helmets is the only thing that I I recommend to only shop uh, on an online store if they have a good return policy or if you go to a local store and you find the exact helmet and model that you want. Uh, 
I, I'm saying this because a helmet, you need to wear it for a, a, a little bit in order to in order to, to know that it's something that you like and that that agrees with you. Um, otherwise, you, you basically just get an expensive uh, paperweight or a hood ornament or whatever you do with a, with a helmet uh, after you use it. And that's it guys, that's my tips for you to buy gear. Buy it cheap, but with quality. Always look for a bargain. Um, and buy wear and buy gear you wear. Uh, if you don't wear it, it's not worth the money, nor um, your time. So that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, leave a comment and please subscribe. Thank you. See ya.